Hello and welcome to another Canadian edition of Frightfully Forgotten. And today is our last Canadian entry. <laughs> uh, but to start things off, what are we drinking today? Uh, Drag Me to Hellas. Today we're going to just bring to you a uh, childhood favorite of ours. It's something that's very Canadian. Uh, the House of Frightenstein that used to play for years yeah. when we were kids. It was filmed in 1971 in Hamilton, Ontario. They were all filmed at once. Pretty too. much one big stretch. It stars Billy Van. He played every single character except for Igor, the hippie Superman. <laughs> And the uh, the mini count. Uh, Vincent Price also did this. Even as kids, we knew who Vincent Price was, right? Yeah. Which is one of the biggest reasons why it was so cool. See him opening the the show, yeah. and then see, see he also closes it out too. Yeah. In between segments, he yeah. kind of introduced the new segment, and apparently he did all of that in one day. <laughs> No rehearsals. <laughs> what a pro. So the show takes place in Castle Frightenstein. And the premise is the Count has been banished from Transylvania because he can't get his monster to work. Tried everything to make Bruce you work. So the Count's watering those flowers. flowers yeah, they, they die. die. <laughs> yeah. Igor's coming in from outside. He was in the moat. I was in the moat, master. Yeah, yeah. What were you doing in the moat? <laughs> yeah. And it always ends with some stupid little joke that's like really bad. Yeah, and they have like that. Yeah. <laughs> and they sing the Transylvania theme yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And, glory, glory, Transylvania. <laughs> and then the count always has to end it off with the true. <laughs> We then get introduced to all the characters that live in House Frightenstein, played by Billy Van. The librarian, yeah. Who's all old and like always full of cobwebs yeah. and everything. What are we gonna read to you next? Uh, it's always these boring yeah. things. <laughs> these <and> like, <laughs> scary, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Scared yet? <laughs> Frightened, aren't you? No, <laughs> not really. Yeah. And there's the Oracle. The, the Oracle. The giant hat. That super <laughs> big hat. And crystal balls. Mm -hmm. He's always breaking all yeah, the time. Yeah, they're rolling off the table. Gets them stuck in his hand. <laughs> the horoscope today is Pisces, mm -hmm. and if you're a Pisces, and he goes off, that's right, Voodoo. Everybody knows Griselda, the the gourmet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Reading from those recipe books, and now just throw a little bit of this in, <laughs> in the cauldron. <laughs> Time to taste it. <laughs> 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 Awful! Yeah. <laughs> Probably, I think, the best yeah, character yeah. out of the whole thing. It's so wacky. It's like, you yeah. almost think that Billy Van is on drugs when he's doing it. Like. Hey, I... <laughs> yeah. Dr. Pet Vet, who's like one of the more educational parts of the show. Bring in like some sort of animal and talk about the animal. Igor, you can keep the animal if you want to. And, oh, or let me go ask yeah. the sloth. Yeah. You go ask like this <laughs> mysterious thing in this cage that you never see. And, oh, Mr. Sloth, can I keep the pretty little puppy? <laughs> yeah. Mr. Sloth says I can't keep the puppy. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Yeah, poor Igor. He can yeah. never keep, the, never poor keep the poor animal. <laughs> Buona Clyde Batty is another character, and he's like that African safari guy yeah. or whatever. <laughs> Always plays like a video from his like destroyed projector. Yeah. <laughs> Playing all his shitty stock footage. Again, there's a bit more educational mm -hmm. than the rest of the show. And at the end, you'd always say, and until next time, ooga, ooga booga. booga. There's the professor who is not played by Billy Van. He was a real, like, professor. Everything that he did mm. was so above any child or even maybe adults heads oh, yeah. he'd explain these things and write out the chalkboard these equations you're like what the fuck <laughs> is that yeah and he'd do these neat experiments which are kind of neat but then he tried to explain the science behind it and you'd be like whoa the grammar slammer too that's yeah. another one right big monster <laughs> monster yeah, the grammar slammer mm -hmm. and of course i think a lot of children who grew up in canada always look forward to the last segment of the show which was Man. the Wolfman which of course is like kind of a spoof on Wolfman Jack the Ex famous yeah. DJ except this guy's literally a the Wolfman, Wolfman. <laughs> I am the Wolfman 
It's Tab Tab. <laughs> that shitty fake record player. You put the needle on like nothing, nothing is would moving. Be like. <laughs> you get out and start like playing this bat guitar in front of the psychedelic yeah. background and Igor <laughs> come in with some maracas or something and a tambourine and start dancing. <laughs> and they play the whole song, the whole song, and you just yeah. sit and watch this weird psychedelic out of left field. <laughs> and then suddenly the show would just end and Vincent Price would be there. So iconic. Oh, yeah. I think every Canadian kid, again, remembers... Vincent Price sitting there in the dark, Brucey in the background. Mm -hmm. The castle lights are growing dim. There's no one left but me and him. But next we meet in Frankenstone. Don't come alone. Brain, 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 and monsters, and of course horror movies, you have to watch The Hilarious House of Frankenstein. Just one episode, because they're all pretty much the same. Pretty much, yeah. It's as zany as you get. Yeah. Like, and a lot of it was ad-libbed. You can hear cameramen laughing in the background <laughs> as they're ad-libbing stuff, and the camera's kind of like shaky <laughs> sometimes, and it's like, it's so like homegrown, kind of off the cuff. So it adds to the charm. There's, you, there's no TV out there like this anymore, besides maybe like YouTube. A product of its time. Yeah. Horror movie lovers as kids, you couldn't go wrong with House of Frightenstein because it was a kid show with all the movie monsters. Yeah. Which is great. Hit up YouTube and look up some hilarious House of Frightenstein segments. And until next time, keep drinking. <laughs>